The serial port monitor can be used when you're using EDAC hardware, which connects to a computer via the serial port. It's especially useful when you're connecting several of these systems to the computer at the same time. You should download it from the EDAC website. If you click on Support, Software Downloads, and in the Utilities and Tools here, you'll find the serial port monitor here. You'll have to register with the EDAC website. Once you've installed it and opened it, it looks like this. So at the moment, there are no serial port hardware connected. If I connect one system, here you'll see the computer's detected it. Uh, so on port COM7, it's detected the ER230. This is the high voltage sequencer. If I connect other hardware, it's detected on COM8 the EPU-358. This is a RTD isopod. Now I know which COM ports these two devices are connected to. If I open the sequencer software, which controls a high voltage sequencer, I can check in file preferences. I can check here that the serial port is COM7, not COM8, which is the isopod. If I open the PodView software, which controls the isopods, window hardware menu, I have to make sure it's looking at COM8, the isopod. So once I select this, it's recording as normal.